All right, guys, so in a AP exclusive, exclusive, according to AP, BLM has opened up about its finances, okay? And this is kind of a big deal. And the reason why is because a lot of people like myself who have been very, very critical of the Black Lives Matter movement, one of my main criticisms is that we don't know what's happening with the money, okay? Apparently, billions of dollars were poured into Black Lives Matter related movements, okay? And again, as somebody who's been a critic of these movements, one of my main criticisms is that they're using the money on silly stuff, silly stuff that ultimately is not going to affect the black community, okay? So when a story like this comes out, I got to pay attention because they're finally telling us a little bit about their finances so let's see exactly what they tell us about their finances here the foundation widely seen as a steward of the black lives matter movement says it took in just over 90 million dollars last year according to a financial snapshot shared exclusively with the associated press now they're talking about the black lives matter global network foundation that's the one that's behind the black lives matter website that's the main kind of organizing group and 90 million dollars to me seems very 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 low for a group like that that had so much visibility and was at the forefront of this movement right especially when there was reports that billions were spent on blm re related movements and causes and the main group only received 90 million of that i don't know i'm not i'm not buying that I'm not buying that. I, I think that that's that's a fudge, right? There's no way they just received 90 million. I think they definitely had to receive at least 300, 400, 500 million dollars. I mean, if, if you believe that the reports that billions of dollars were poured into related movements, okay, and now they're coming out saying, "Oh, well, we only got 90 million," not buying it. The Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation is now building infrastructure to catch up to speed of its funding and plans to use its endowment to become known for more than protests after black americans die at the hands of police or vigilantes you mean specifically after black men die right because this whole movement was built off the deaths of black men in order to benefit those who are not black men right that, that's the whole point of the movement right Quote, we want to uplift black joy and liberation, not just black death. We want to see black communities thriving, not just surviving. Reads and impact report the foundation shared with the AP before releasing it. Okay, that sounds all well and happy, right? Okay, black joy, black liberation. But that's not what I'm concerned about. Okay, what I'm concerned about is the money. Where is the money being spent? Okay, I don't care about black joy and liberation. I care about black economic empowerment, right? That's what I care about. I don't care about black joint liberation. I want to build businesses. That's what this foundation should be primarily focused on because everything is about the money, right? This channel is about politics. And guys, like I've showed you a thousand times, politics is about the money, right? If you want to create change, you need money, right? And the way to do that most efficiently is through business and economics which is what this movement should be focused on but it's not it's focused on black joy and liberation okay whatever the hell that means so let's read a little further here this marks the first time in the movement's nearly eight year history that blm leaders have revealed a detailed look at their finances again how we let them get away with donating all this money for them not to say anything about it for this long. The founders uh, coffers and influence grew immensely following the May 2020 death of George Floyd, a black man whose last breaths under the knee of a white Minneapolis police officer sparked protests across the US and around the world. The growth also caused uh, long-standing tensions to boil over between some of the movement's grassroots organizers and national leaders. The former went public last fall with grievances about financial transparency, decision-making, and accountability. Now, I did a story on this, I think, back in November or December about how um, the BLM chapters basically said they have not been getting any money from the national organization whatsoever. The foundation said it 
committed $21.7 million in grant funding to official and unofficial BLM chapters, as well as 30 black-led local organizations. It ended uh, 2020 with a balance of more than uh, $60 million after spending nearly a quarter of his assets on the grants, funds, and other charitable giving. Again, what does that mean, right? <laughs> like, I don't know what grant funds and charitable giving means. What are you giving money to? Right? Are you giving money to twerking on Washington or are you giving money to some black startup or some business, right, that, that's going to bring some economic opportunity to the black community? What are you spending money on? Because there's a difference. I don't want the money spent on art, right? Like, that's not what I want, right? That's not what we need. We need businesses, okay? So, all this money, again, we are not, we're still not seeing exactly where it's been spent. That, that's what I want to know. So let's see if they give it to us. Let's see if we get more information here. In its report, the BLM Foundation said individual donations via its main fundraising platform averaged $30.76, more than uh, 10% of the donations were reoccurring, reoccurring. The report does not state who gave the money in 2020 and leaders declined to name prominent donors. Again, red flag. Last year, the foundation's expenses were approximately $8.4 million. That includes staffing, operating, and administrative costs, along with activities such as civic engagement, rapid response, and crisis intervention. <laughs> Again, why is the money not going to business? <laughs> okay. <laughs> civic engagement. What is that? <laughs> rapid response to what? Crisis intervention. For who? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Where's the money going? We still don't have an answer. One of its uh, focuses for 2021 will be economic justice, particularly as it relates to the ongoing socioeconomic impact of COVID-19 on black communities. The racial justice movement um, had a broad impact on philanthropic giving last year. According to an upcoming report by Canada and the Center for Disaster Philanthropy, 35% of the $20.2 billion in U.S. funding from corporations, foundations, public charities, and high net worth individuals to address COVID-19 was explicitly designated for communities of color. After the 2013 acquittal of George Simmons, the Neighborhood Watch, a volunteer who killed 17-year-old Trayvon Martin in Florida, BLM's founders pledged to build a decentralized movement governed by consensus of members collective. It sounds like communism. In 2015, a network of chapters was formed as support and donations poured in, but critics say the BLM Global Network Foundation has increasingly moved away from being a black radical organization organizing hub and become a mainstream philanthropic and political organization run without democratic input from its earliest grassroots supporters. BLM co-founder Patrice Cullors told the AP that the foundation is focused on, quote, a need to invest in black communities. Quote, one of our biggest goals this year is taking the dollars we were able to raise in 2020 and building out the institution we've been trying to build for the, for the last seven and a half years, she said in the interview. <sighs> what does that mean? OK, I, 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 I'm really frustrated with these people because it's really simple, guys. Right. Ninety million dollars. All I want to see them do is take that ninety million dollars. And just create a venture capital or seed fund for businesses that are either black owned, minority owned, that's going to benefit the black community or minority communities or whatever, right? All you do is just make it like a fund, okay? You know, out of that $90 million, right, that's 900 businesses that can get $100,000 in seed funding, right? If you make it $50,000, then... That is 1,800 businesses, okay? Like, this stuff is not hard. If you give, you know, 900 to 1,800, you know, businesses 50 to $100,000 in seed funding, that is going to do so much more to help entrepreneurs, right? To help people that are trying to start businesses, that are trying to create jobs, that are trying to create economic opportunity, that need the empowerment that you're speaking about. That would do so much more than, quote unquote, civic engagement and community outreach and investing in art and black voices and all this other nonsense that we keep hearing. Right. All this colorful language that really don't amount to a hill of beans. OK, 
I'm sick and tired of these organizations who claim to be so pro-black that don't want to spend the money on black business, okay? This stuff is not hard, right? If all these people are donating money to this organization and all it's going to is a bunch of crap that doesn't translate to more money in the community, right, to building businesses to jobs, right? It doesn't mean anything. Jobs are everything, man. Economics is everything. Economics drives everything. And again, it's just a shame to see all this money, right, during a time like this where people are willing to give to so-called black causes more than any other time in history. And you're seeing all this money being spent and wasted on a bunch of people who are self-proclaimed Marxist. So obviously they don't care about capitalism or they don't want to use capitalism. So they're not even thinking about the idea of creating some type of venture capital fund in order to, to, to fund black businesses who, you know, may not be able to access capital for their ideas. It's probably not even a drawing board. They are saying in 2021 they're going to focus on reinvesting in the black community. But I have no faith that that means investing in black businesses. I have no faith in that. I think what that means is that they're, they're just going to, I don't know, pour the money into some type of, I don't know, community outreach thing where they raise awareness about something or another, right? Like the things they always do. Okay. It, to me, I'm, 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 I'm just frustrated with this because it, it's a huge opportunity being wasted by those who have no clue what the hell they're doing. Colors, who was already active in her native Los Angeles, uh, where she created her own social justice organization, Power and Dignity Now, became the Global Foundation's full-time executive director last year. Fellow co-founders uh, Alicia Garza, who is the principal at Black Futures Lab, and Opal Tometi, who uh, created a black new media and advocacy hub called Diaspora Rising, are not involved with the foundation. Garza and Tometi do continue to make appearances as movement co-founders. In 2020, the foundation spun off its network of chapters as a sister collective called BLM Grassroots. The chapters, along with other black-led organizations, became eligible in 20 in July for financial resources uh, through a $12 million grant fund. Although there are many groups that use Black Lives Matter or BLM in their names, less than a dozen are currently uh, considered affiliates of the chapter network. According to foundation records shared with the AP, several chapters, including in the city of Washington, Philadelphia, and Chicago, were notified last year of their eligibility to receive $500,000 each in funding under a multi-year agreement. Only one BLM group in Denver has signed the agreement and received its funds in September. Chapters call for more transparency. A group of 10 chapters called uh, BLM 10 rejected the foundation's funding offer last year and complain publicly about the lack of uh, donor transparency. Uh, foundation leaders say only a few of the 10 chapters are recognized as network affiliates. In a letter released uh, November 30th, the BLM 10 claim most chapters have received little to no financial resources from the BLM movement since its launch in 2013. That has had adverse consequences for the scope of their organizing work, local chapters, leaders told the AP. The chapters are simply asking for an equal say and quote this thing that our names are attached to that they are doing in our names, said April uh, Goggins, organizer of Black Lives Matter DC, which is a part of the BLM 10 group, along with groups in Indianapolis, Oklahoma City, uh, San Diego, Hudson Valley, New York, and elsewhere. We are BLM. We built this, each one of us, she said. Which, you know, that, that's kind of funny to me because, you know, uh, <laughs> all this money that they got, you know, they didn't, they're not even giving it to their chapters. Right. I, I do. I think Patrice Cullors, I mean, at this point, like, it's a good question. Like, what what are you doing? Right. Like, what are exactly are you doing? Because you're doing a lot of media appearances. You know, you're doing a lot of, um, you know, political stuff. But, you know, you're not even giving the money that you got to the so-called grassroots organizations that are supposed to be driving this movement. Right. I mean, you can't even call this movement grassroots anymore. I mean, if you believe what this article says. 
Records show that some chapters have received multiple rounds of funding in amounts ranging from $800 to $69,000. Going uh, back as far as 2016, the BLM-10 said the amounts given have been far from equitable when compared to how much uh, BLM has raised over the years, but colors disagree. Uh, quote, because BLM movement was larger than life and it is larger than life, people made very huge assumptions about our actual about what our actual finances look like color said we were often scraping for money and this year was the first year we received when we were resourced in a way we deserve to be still the blm 10 members said reality didn't match the picture uh movement founders were projecting around the world in its early years blm disclosed receiving donations from a-list celebrities such as beyonce jay-z and prince prior to his death in 2016 leaders of the blm foundation admit they have not been clear about the movement's finances and governance over the years but now the foundation is m more open about such matters it says the fiscal sponsor currently managing its money requires spending be approved by a collective action fund which is a board made up of representatives from official blm chapters all right so i think that's enough of that um yeah so as you can see blm received 90 million allegedly right i think they received more uh in 2020 and um they're still being stingy about the money right and there's still a lack of transparency in regards to where that money is going obviously the chapters are not really receiving the money they're saying that they're going to start allocating more money towards them but who knows i just think in my opinion this whole movement is unorganized it's focused on the wrong things i haven't heard one thing about black businesses i haven't heard one thing about black fathers i haven't heard one thing about any of the problems in the black community that actually need to be solved um trying to be solved by the blm i've heard a lot of other things and a lot of other colorful language that means absolutely nothing but i've heard nothing about the core issue so we'll see what happens i'm gonna give uh blm the benefit of the doubt here it is 2021 and they did receive a large amount of money so we will see if they actually uh reinvest in the black community we'll see right i'm not getting my hopes up i doubt it but hey who knows so there you guys go that's an inside look at blm's uh, finances still my, not much transparency in my opinion but i guess it's better than nothing let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace